Hillsboro Fire Department has been around for 161 years, and if City Council gets its way, this could be its last. Hillsborough City Council voted to close the fire department and pay an outside contractor for the service. Our Tony Moronis is in Hillsboro, and he tells us the reasons behind the council vote. It's a town dividing right down the middle, and it involves money, jobs, and a little bit of pride. All I know is if we have a fire and we have somebody having a heart attack on the other end of town and there's a fire on the other end of town, we need this fire department to cover the city. Jill Whitley is one of the 6,000 plus residents here in Hillsboro. We just need them. I mean, you do a fire department, what's the town going to do? Hillsboro City Council voted 4 to 3 this week to stop providing fire and rescue services in order to hire the four year old Paint Creek Fire District to serve the community. The idea isn't anything new, it's all about slashing costs. In 2012, Hillsboro paid $1.4 million for the fire department. That includes pensions. This year, they paid about $1.1 million when the year is finished. Well, if they hire the Paint Creek Fire District at five mills per resident, that new deal could cost anywhere from $552,000 to $614,000. Safety wise, I don't think it's a good idea. Whitley's neighbor sees the change a bit differently. Anybody that works on the fire departments, whether it be Paint Township or the Hillsboro, are experienced. I watch them go through training here. Currently, the Paint Creek Fire District, highlighted in yellow on the map, serves eight other communities surrounding Hillsboro in pink. Because you got a lot of waste going on here. There is a tentative contract already written. Right now, the only thing that needs to be decided is if Paint Creek commissioners vote to take on the city and agree on a price. Tony Moronis, Nine on Your Side, Hillsboro.